I'm over here with Trail Performance. They are testing some new things out. And you got the drag radial on there. Can't really talk too much about what he's done, but we know it's exhaust intake and a drag radial. We're gonna take it out, do some little test laps, see how things go. So I'll be filming with the GoPro from here. What's up everyone? This is Bill with uh, BLR Tuning. Uh, today I just wanted to record a short little video real quick explaining what's going on here. Um, me and my buddy over at Trill Performance. Uh, we were went out and did some testing today. Just a little uh, back road testing in Mexico. Um, anyway, so I got, got some video from the GoPro. And just wanted to go over a couple things. I have, we also both ran a uh, draggy GPS system on the bikes, on the Can-Am Rikers. Um, Trail Performance is running a Riker 900, exactly the same as mine. Mine's a 2019, there's a 2020. No, no real major differences between the two uh, as far as uh, being stock uh, when you first buy them. Um, I'm running Trail Performance exhaust, Trail Performance intake. Um, a couple small little mods that we're testing out and then uh, my own custom tuning work uh, Trail Performance is running their intake they're running their exhaust and then they're also running their own custom tuning work and then they are doing a little R&D um, testing out some uh, new items and new uh, new features that can be added to the Riker um, can't really go into detail too much as to what they are testing but uh, they will be sharing that information once we have all the data gathered up and once they're ready to release new products and new information. Um, they are running a drag radial on the back tire. Okay, and then uh, I will leave a link in the description below this video to go check out Troll Performance and their contact information. If you have questions, you can reach out to them. And then, of course, I'll leave a link to my uh, Facebook page, uh, BLR Tuning. So today when we were doing our testing, um, my fastest quarter mile, now keep in mind our testing was on some back roads, rough roads, no prep whatsoever. And it was right around, I'd say 50 degrees, maybe a little colder. It was cold outside. This was mid afternoon. Um, roads were dry, but it was still very, very cold. And I could not get no traction for the life of me the entire day. So my fastest quarter mile for today, I'll put a screenshot of the draggy system up there. Uh, my fastest quarter mile for today was a 13.59 at 96 miles per hour. I'll let you guys check out that uh, little slip from draggy. And uh, at the track, my fastest quarter mile is 13.57. So I think with the changes I've made, I'll probably be faster at the track than the 13.57. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, on this surface with the standard Riker 900 back tire, it's a brand new back tire on the on the back. Uh, we were doing a burnout before, beforehand, before taking off from a dead stop. I just could not get no traction. My traction, I was smoking the tire until 60 miles an hour. Okay, and then for the Trio Performance, um, again, I'll have their draggy slip from today. I'll put it up on the screen. Trail performance, fastest time today with on the same no prep surface side by side with me. Uh, they ran a quarter mile in 12.78 seconds at 96 miles an hour. And that is faster than their uh, track time. Their track time was a 12.9 second quarter mile at 95 miles per hour. So the back tire and then the other work that he is doing to the bike, uh, the testing they are doing so far, it looks like it's paid off because that's going to translate to actually being a faster time at the drag strip. So, and they ran a 12.78. Okay, now moving on to the 0 to 60 times. Um, again, I have draggy slips. I'll put that up there. This is uh, me with BLR tuning. 0 to 60 time on the no prep surface today. I ran a 4.99 seconds, 0 to 60. So that's actually quite a bit slower than my track time. My best track time was uh, 
seconds. And again, like I said, I was smoking the back tire all the way till 60 miles an hour. So smoking the tire all the way to 60 at a 4.99 second, it, it'll probably translate to being a little faster. That's what I'm hoping for at the, at the drag strip. And we'll be hitting up the drag strip this coming up, you know, next summer, 2021. And then uh, Trail Performance, their 0 to 60 time on the no prep surface today was a 3.78 seconds. And that's faster than their track time. Their track time was a 4.0, uh, 0 to 60 time. So that's actually, they did better on today's no prep. But keep in mind, they are trying out new, new stuff. So their new stuff definitely paid off. My new stuff, mm, I might be putting a little bit too much power to the ground right away. That initial takeoff, and that may be affecting me. So I still got a little bit of work to do but I think that um, at the drag strip with what I'm testing out and what they're testing out I think both bikes are gonna be faster at the drag strip now keep in mind my bikes on my custom tuning work their bikes on their custom tuning work uh, that they you know that they have done themselves so anyways we'll get on with the video I'll let you guys check out the video again you can see there on the screen you can pause it and screenshot it whatever you want to do um, that is our draggy times that's a draggy gps system i'll put a link to that you can get them on amazon i think they're like 160 i think they're under 200 dollars. and then um you can check out my facebook page blr tuning and then soon i will have um apparel and decals blr tuning and then blr tuning efi motorcycle tuning that's what i do i've been tuning motorcycles for quite some time now so if uh, tuning work is something you're interested in, feel free to reach out to me. That's what I do. Um, don't forget, if you're on trillperformance.com, uh, you can use my code at checkout and save 10% off of your order. The code is capital letters, Blue Dragon. I'll put it across the screen. And then um, also some big news, my uh, radiator protective grill for the Can-Am Riker. That can be ordered straight through me if you get only through Facebook Messenger or Instagram. And I've always just been able to ship them in the U U.S. using three-day priority shipping. Uh, that radiator protective grill is now listed on Trill Performance's website. So they now carry that in stock. And uh, you can place your order directly through them. And again, you can still use my code at checkout and save 10% off your order. So go check them out. Trill Performance, those guys are putting in some major work and uh, trying to get you... Uh, the highest performance Can-Am Riker that you could possibly have on the street. Okay, as of right now, all their parts, uh, their intake, their exhaust is the highest. Their exhaust is the highest performance exhaust. It has the most horsepower been tested on the dyno. Uh, it is also the quietest exhaust on the market as of today. And then they do offer a baffle system for it to quiet it down. And then their intake system, also the highest horsepower intake system that has been on the dyno tested and at the track. Um, so go check them out, trollperformance.com, link in the description below, and, uh, we'll get on with the video. Anyways, that's all I got as far as the talking goes. I apologize for the, the GoPro footage. Um, you know, there's no, not much audio to it. You're hearing the bikes run in the background, you know, that's about it. Um, anyways, you guys ride safe. I hope you guys will take the time to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, we're trying to do the best that we can to get you the fastest Rikers. And uh, be able to put the parts out the door so that way you guys can uh, have a fast bike also. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day. Peace. The burnout lineup, three honks. Third honk, I'm going.
572. Oh. And I was I was laying it down. What was your hit file? 878. I was I was doing 79. Yeah, I didn't get traction until 60 miles an hour. Oh yeah, way, way slow. Uh, see, it was only at 12, 12.9. What? 12.9 quarter miles. 13.8. 